Hey guys, what is up? It is the Fast Break Report here bringing you guys another vlog. So uh, we got to talk about uh, the MVP race uh, because uh, it would appear as if uh, ever since Kendrick Perkins opened his fucking mouth, now people seem to think that Joel Embiid is the league MVP. And uh, I'm here to shed some light on this because uh, the fact of the matter is, okay... I understand why people think this, okay? Like, I, I do. I, I understand why people think that Joel Embiid should be the league MVP. But the problem with that is, okay, a lot of people that I've went back and forth with on Twitter the past three or four days have made me honestly believe that most people in the NBA community on Twitter eat fucking paste for a living, like for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and for snacks. Because the arguments that people make are that Joel Embiid's the better overall player. So that's why he should win the award. But the fact of the matter is that's not what the MVP award is for. Okay? The MVP award is normally, okay? Normally, given to the player with the highest player efficiency rating, the highest box plus minus, and the highest win share rate over the length of the entire season. Okay? Nicole Jokic has played more games than Joel Embiid. And really. Nikola Jokic beats Joel Embiid in every single every single statistical category except for points per game, blocks, and free throw percentage. Okay, and when you consider the fact that Joel Embiid shoots like fucking 19 free throws a game, he should be pretty good at shooting free throws at this point in his career. But the fact of the matter is, it's really the advanced metrics where Joel Embiid just has no case. And I know people don't like advanced metrics. There are people out there like, oh, well, Joel Embiid played against Nikola Jokic one time this year and uh, Joel Embiid beat him. And, 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 and like, like, I'm sorry, but one game does not make up an entire season. Then there's people out there who make the case that, oh, well, Jokic has better teammates. I mean, I saw somebody say that Nikola Jokic takes easier shots. So that's why he has a higher true shooting percentage than Joel Embiid. So we're now penalizing players for taking smarter shots is what you're telling me. So because Joel Embiid takes more ill-advised shots than Nikola Jokic, we should reward the guy who takes shittier shots than the guy who takes smart shots. Okay, like there's a reason that Nikola, Nikola Jokic is shooting 67% from two. It's because he doesn't take idiotic fucking shots. Okay, and he's averaging a triple-double, but... It's not just the idea that he's averaging a triple-double. His team is number one in the West, okay? The Philadelphia 76ers are the third-ranked team in the East, okay? Yeah, maybe if they had the number one seed in the East, it'd, it'd be an even easier argument to make. But the fact of the matter is, when it comes to advanced metrics, as much as people don't like them, that, that's where the story gets told on League MVP, okay? The reason Giannis ended up beating James Harden in one of the years that uh, he won the MVP, I think it was 2017 or 2018, is because Giannis had a higher player efficiency rating. The league loves efficient players. Okay, players love efficient players, owners love efficient players, head coaches love efficient players, and so do analysts. Okay, if your PER is fucking phenomenal, that alone locks you in for like 50% of the vote. Okay, and... When we look at their advanced metrics, I'm sorry, but like it's not even really close. Like true shooting percentage, Jokic is shooting 70% from the field compared to Joel Embiid's 64%. Okay, 70% true shooting percentage is unheard of while averaging a triple double. Like to be fair, what Nikola Jokic is doing efficiency wise will probably never be repeated ever again. Like, that's why his case is so polarizing. Then when we look at some of the other stats, I mean, his assist percentage is way higher than Embiid's. His rebound percentage is higher than Embiid's. Um, the only, uh, his steal percentage is higher than Embiid's. His, Embiid's block percentage is way higher than Jokic's, but, uh, and, and so is his usage percentage. But, um, you know, turnover percentage, yeah, Embiid is better. But when it comes to often, uh, usage rate, yeah, Embiid, Embiid destroys him in usage rate. But the fact of the matter is, in the categories that matter, okay, Nikola Jokic absolutely destroys Embiid. Offensive win shares, 9.6 to 6.4. Defensive win shares, they're literally tied, okay? Win shares as a whole, Nikola Jokic is destroying him, 12.6 to 9.4. Win shares per 48 minutes, Nikola Jokic destroys him, 0.249 versus 0.311. 
Okay? Offensive box plus minus. Jokic beats him. Defensive box plus minus. Jokic beats him. Blocks plus minus as a whole. Jokic beats him. Value over replacement player. Jokic beats him. Okay? Like, yeah, I see where people are coming from with the Joel Embiid argument. I do. But the fact of the matter is, I I find it hard also to believe that, like, people say that Nikola Jokic has better teammates because he doesn't have another league MVP on his team. Okay? Like, James Harden has won two league MVPs. Okay? James Harden has him as a teammate. You know who Nikola Jokic has as a teammate? Jamal Murray. Who has finally come back off an injury. Last year, Nikola Jokic backpacked that team without Jamal Murray. And without Michael Porter Jr. for most of the season. And we're really making an argument that, oh, Nikola Jokic is just not that good. I mean, Tobias Harris is having about an identical season to Michael Porter Jr. this year. Tobias Harris is shooting like 49% from the field, 38% from three, and 86% from the free throw line on 15 a game. 14.9. We'll give him the 15 to be generous. But, like, the argument that people are making for this is that Joel Embiid averages more points per game. Or he's a better defensive player. Okay, well, that's what Defensive Player of the Year is for. Oh, he, he scores more points. He's more points per game. Okay, well, that's what the scoring title is for. Um, You know, everybody's... Like, I, I understand... Like, even like even if you ask me, if, if Nikola Jokic and Joel Embiid were to play one-on-one, who am I taking in, in, to win a best-of-three series? Joel Embiid. But the fact of the matter is the MVP award is not given to the best player... Okay, in the league, fundamentally, it's just not. It's given to the player who performs best over the entire season. And that's Nikola Jokic. It's usually given to the player who impacts winning the most. And if you can lead the league in player efficiency rating and win shares, you are more than likely a lock to win MVP. I would I would almost say like I feel like Giannis has a better case than Joel Embiid does. And, and and in some instances, I could understand why people would even say Jason Tatum. But I, I'm sorry. To me, yes, Joel Embiid has been very good this year, but you, you can't lose in every single advanced metric as much as people hate them and then try to say, oh, well, he's got a case. Like... I, and then and then come up with stupid ass arguments like oh well he's just a better player that's why he should win oh he scores more points per game that's why he should win oh he has better teammates I'm sorry but like Nikola Jokic has Aaron Gordon okay Joel Embiid has Tyrese Maxey also so this, I I just I'm not following this narrative that Nikola Jokic has severely better teammates than Joel Embiid Joel Embiid has Tobias Harris James Harden and Tyrese Maxey. I mean, if you ask me, it's pretty fucking even. So, I I, I don't know, man. You know what? I I get why people want to say Joel Embiid. I I really do. Joel Embiid's a great player. I like watching him play. Actually, I I don't like watching him play as much anymore because he just shoots fucking free throws most of the time. But it's just the idea. Like, he's he's a good player. He's probably going to win an MVP at some point in his career. But it's not going to be right now while Jokic is averaging arguably the most efficient triple-double in NBA history and winning games doing it, okay? 70% true shooting percentage when the league average is like 56, and and not that Joel Embiid isn't doing that as well, like, because Joel Embiid's shooting, what, 64% true shooting percentage, I think? I think league average is 56, but like 70, 70, 70%, we're really saying like he's, he's... He he gets easier shots. That's why he's shooting seventy percent true shooting percentage. Like Jokic beats Embiid in field goal percentage and three point percentage. He doesn't beat him in free throw percentage, but that's also because, like I said, you know Embiid just shoots a shit ton more free throws than he does, um, and, and makes them at a, at a higher clip. I'd say, but I I just don't see it. Okay, and and Nikola Jokic is not winning it because he's white. He's winning it because he's just that fucking good. So, I don't know, man. Take it for what you what you may, but if you were to ask me, who's the clear MVP this year? It's Nikola Jokic. Okay, I don't I don't care who the better player is. Most people don't. Okay, nobody cares who the better player is. Nobody cares who's better defensively. Nobody cares who takes harder shots. Nobody cares who scores more points per game. Okay, 
People care about how much have you impacted winning and how efficiently have you done it, and Nikola Jokic is number one in that category. That's how it works. So tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comment section below. I like helps me out. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. I'm the Fast Break Report, and I'm out of this motherfucker. Peace, guys.